feel stressed. The first thing is that you lose your confidence. If you think you've come across some form of teacher's burnout due to complications with your school administrators, then this video is yours to watch. Keep watching. If you are an IT manager or I don't know if you are an engineer I'm not saying that your job is not sensitive but most probably when you have a problem with your boss less number of people are going to be affected because of that fight than a teacher or a nurse or a doctor we're going to have lots of other people affected around us so it's very important to keep it together Usually, when there is a problem with the school administrators, the first thing that happens is that you start questioning yourself. Am I still a good teacher? Am I still making a difference? I go to the class and I don't feel enough. So, the most important thing for me to do and the first thing is keeping a journal. Not because of my lesson plan, not because of the objectives that haven't been met in the classroom, not because of the well-being of one of my students, but just because of that fight that, for example, I have had or that argument that I have had with my boss. Believe me, I know how hard it could be, like shifting your focus from schools, administrators, principals, directors and other people and even your colleague I mean you might have had an argument with your colleague I know how hard it can be like shifting your focus from that to your lesson plan to the well-being of that weaker student of yours to the objective the overall objective of blah blah lesson in the classroom or that project that you want to do next week with seventh graders or sixth graders but when you do that you are going to give your brain some time to relax relax by focusing on the job itself on what you are good at than the stressor the next thing that i do that really helps is talking to a colleague or a friend or a group of friends that know me very well sanity is what you need in order to make and have the best reaction towards what happened so when you feel triggered stop call that friend type in that group of friends that you have that are always there for you take an appointment from your therapist right away in my case sports help i've always done some sort of sports in my life i like running but in your case it could be just a long walk so get out give yourself a long walk or i don't know maybe you can play volleyball play basketball with a team or go for for that cycling session that spinning session that you have wanted to go for a while and try to feel relaxed try to distract yourself from what happened i mean isn't this what we try to do with our kids i mean whenever i have a kid crying what i think about is how to distract that kid from crying from the reason that is making them so tense so sad so angry so that when they are calm they can express themselves easier and that is exactly what we want to do with ourselves Find the most genuine reason you started doing your job in the first place and expose yourself to it as much as you can. I know that this might sound really rude towards some directors, principals or school administrators. I'm really sorry to say this. But whenever I am treated in a way that I feel like it's unfair or it's like treating an educator like a businessman or a businesswoman, then what I tell myself, and let me tell you that it always works, is that think about it this way, Sarvi. That person has not received proper education in that area and that's why they are somehow illiterate towards what you want from them so they cannot give it to you because they haven't been trained for it that means that you need to put extra energy on those kids around you on those students around you to break the cycle and this way uh, not only I am distracted from what has made me really tense and angry at that point and at the same time I feel a little bit bad, a little bit pitiful for that person. And that person is not controlling me anymore, you know what I mean? 
And don't take me wrong, we're not going to stay in a toxic working environment forever because we want to break that cycle and we want to educate the kids and the students. We're not going to neglect our own needs. But in order to be able to do the effective thing and stay relevant, we need to wait for the right time. One more thing that helps me a lot in moments that I feel tense, angry, sad, or I feel a lot of anxiety around me is to give myself that a stress hour. Usually for me, it's Starbucks after school. <laughs> Everybody knows that they can always find me in a Starbucks after work. But mm, it's like that a stress hour. You know, I tell myself, Sarvi, we are definitely going to think about it. If necessary, we're going to feel angry, we're going to feel sad about it, we're going to write down in our journal, we're going to take our time with it. But in this special hour, which is, I don't know, even it can be in the middle of the day, uh, while you sit down and you tell yourself it's the time to do it, but not all day long. It's going to stop my brain. I mean, at least in my case, it's going to stop my brain overthinking all day long and taking all my energy when I need to focus on many different things at the same time. At the end of the day, we're teachers. I got a bigger cause in my head. I'm a teacher. I'm a parent figure. If I cannot keep it together, who else can? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you know other ways of coping with anxiety at work, of course, go ahead and leave a comment. Help us all. I love you. Bye-bye.